everything started with this ad. The rest was fun. Let me show you how I built my dream YZ250. <laughs> So this is it, huh? This is her. She needs, uh, she needs some love, that's for sure. But, um... Uh... Hey, what's up, guys? Rado here with Dirt and Iron, and today I have this long video for you. I'm gonna show you how I built my dream YZ250, starting from buying it off Craigslist. I ended up paying uh, $1,000, and after that, took it back home. And this actually took me several months, uh, close to like seven months, because I have other things I was working on. Uh, I'm gonna compile all the videos uh, here in this uh, one time lapse and uh, you can see everything I went through with this YZ250 build. Right now we are working on a teardown which is a fun part of the build because uh, it doesn't take a lot and you have entire bike uh, taken apart and looks like you did a lot of work. And uh, I really like this part, especially on this uh, YZ250. I was really surprised. This was actually the first time for me working on YZ250. And I was really surprised how easy it is, uh, how straightforward it is to take this bike apart. And, uh, you know, a couple of parts were missing. Uh, as you could see in the beginning, the bike was not running. The bike uh, had a bad crank and uh, some bolts are missing, some little things here and there. So when you are working on a similar project, uh, take pen and paper and write down all the parts that are missing, uh, that are broken. So then you can buy them and you can have them ready when you are putting your bike back together. Same goes for the wire harness and cable, cable routing. Uh, take a bunch of pictures so you know how to put it back together once you add it. It's doggy dog, it's many man. Fin for yourself, take what you can. Cause every pack has their own plan. And who will I be when the wolves come knocking? Will I see that he's a snake that's talking? Can't look back once you start walking, walking.
looks like we are done with the teardown, bike is completely apart, so the next step would be to take the engine apart. We went to Parapro's garage, my buddy Brad is a great mechanic, uh, he helped us to uh, take the engine apart and we are going to assess the damage and see what needs to be replaced. So let's see how that goes. Uh, Alright guys, so uh, we are only at the top end and we already found uh, <laughs> three things that we need to fix. The bar valve, yep. uh, actuator was this thing right here on the side was broken. Then we need to replay the cylinder and our bottom end is shut completely. So let's keep going, open this puppy and see what else uh, is waiting for us over there. They say it was true that I was sold. But the trouble with truth is it just don't get old There's a gravity to grace I can't escape And the trouble with grace it gives more than it takes Yeah, I need grace that gives more than it takes There's a world Alright, so final count, we are going to need to replace our cylinder, get the brand new top end, we have to buy some parts for a power valve because that was broken, we need new crank, all new bearings and seals and we need new clutch, so we're gonna get the full Hinton setup for this build. Check out those dirty, nasty aluminum parts and this is one of my favorite parts of the build because we are going to take this and ship it over to my friends at Florida at Moto Blasters. Mark and Brett, father and son duo, they are doing amazing job hydroblasting and also Cerakoting. So for this build, for the first time we are going to Cerakote a bunch of things for the engine. So I ship it over to Florida and Mark and Brett, they did amazing job, they went through everything. They hydroblasted a bunch of aluminum to make it look better than new. And also, as I said, for this build, we did a lot of Cerakoting. We decided to go with the burnt bronze color. Hopefully everything will look amazing. I'm blown away how beautiful it looks. Like, it's spotless. It looks better than brand new. Like when you pair uh, this uh, hydroblasted aluminum and the Cerakote to it, this uh, burnt bronze, it's, it's so beautiful. I, I really love it. It looks great. Like, especially this uh, uh, clutch cover, the inner clutch cover, when you look at the details, this looks amazing, really spotless. Like when I put a Hinson cover here and a Boysen cover right here, uh, you know how great this bike would look once it's done? Ah oh, man, it would be so amazing, it would look really good. It's time to put our engine back together. We got Rand Rabbit kit that comes with everything, all the seals, bearings and everything you need uh, for rebuilding your engine as well as your crank and bottom end. Actually, Vertex Piston came with the kit, but we sent this over to Tom Morgan to pair it with the cylinder, right? Yep, so we don't, this one is matched perfectly to the cylinder. And it's matched to what we have done with the, the head mod and everything else. We are going to use Boysen water cooler to help us cool the engine, V-Force reed cage, and also full Hinson clutch setup. As you can see guys, we are rebuilding the transmission. We are actually going to change this uh, stock YZ transmission into YZ250X, which comes uh, with three different gears. Third, fourth and fifth are wide ratio. And we actually got this transmission donated from Scott Meredith, who is watching our channel. So thanks a lot Scott for doing this donation. That transmission will do a great job in our YZ250 build. If you guys are interested to see a detailed video with a lot of explanation and a lot of tips for you if you are working on your two-stroke engine, I'm gonna put a link below in the description with all the videos we did for this build. There is a lot of videos, there is hours of footage that you can go through and you can see everything in the detail. I've been in the darkness for 40 days I've been 
Searching for holy flames A sign to light up the way So can you help me out? Can you help me out? YZ250 engine is all done and it's looking pretty good. What do you think guys? As you can see we are also using Smart Carb SC2 so this build will be powered by the new technology from Smart Carb. Well next we need to rebuild the bearing so the bike feels all brand new again. So for that I visited my friend John and he helped me to press out old bearing from the steering stem and press in the new bearing. I'm using factory links bearings and as you can see it's very simple to do it if you have good press. Uh, it took him all like 3 minutes to do a entire steering stem uh, bearing replacement.
right after that we came back home to the garage and uh, started doing our old school bearing packing uh, you know hand packing and that's the that's the way I like to do it I want to make sure that I have grease everywhere and then everything is uh, you know uh, working correctly and then the bike will really feel brand new After that, uh, we continue working on our bearings. So we're gonna replace all the bearings in our swing arm again using uh, factory links bearings for the swing arm. Uh, my friend Dallas came over. He helped me to uh, press these bearings in. It's a little bit easier if you have four hands because uh, you need to uh, hold the swing arm, the bearing, and then you need to drive it in simultaneously. So it's uh, it's better to have somebody to help you. But before on my other builds, uh, I did it always alone. So this one was a little bit easier. So he was helping me with all the bearings, pressed everything in, uh, also for the linkage and uh, definitely need to grease it again. After everything is greased, you put all the, all the seals, all the spacers and you are ready to go. Wondering if they can But I've been fighting what I'm feeling Needing something to believe in Oh, lift me up, lift me up from the valley Oh, lift me up, lift me up from the storm Oh, lift me up, lift, lift me, me up, up from yeah. the valley Oh, lift me up
why, my friend. So yeah, it would be better to first install the coil and then do the radiators. And, you know, this is my first YZ and I didn't really realize that uh, I will run into this issue. On a KTM, your coil is above the engine, so it's very simple to install it. Now, I was still able to do it here. I didn't have to remove the radiators. I could just uh, place it in between and then, uh, you know, put my hands in there and I was able to tighten it. It just took a little more time. Also, I had to loosen up my right radiator just a little bit to be able to fit in the wire harness and, you know, continue connecting uh, all my wires there. We don't have it on a video, but the brakes are already done. You know, this uh, video took a few days of filming. Uh, I would come home after work, uh, turn on the camera and do a couple hours in the garage. And in between those days, I took the bike over to Jay Clark's garage, to Dirt Bike TV garage. He has this vacuum machine for uh, brakes and also took my braided line, task braided line. Uh, we put everything together, front and rear brake, use brand new fluid and uh, bled the brakes front and rear and make sure that everything is working good. So now on the video everything is done. I don't have a footage from bleeding the brakes, but yep, we did that in Jay's garage. So thank you, Jay.
and we are back in Jay Clark's garage. You know, this uh, became some kind of custom here on our channel that every time we finish the build, uh, we go to Jay's garage because Jay's been great help throughout the build. He helped me bunch with parts, with advice, with a lot of different things. So uh, I think it's uh, proper to go and finish everything up in his place in Dirt Bike TV garage. And you know, we went through everything through the fork heights. Then uh, we also uh, torque everything to the specs. Uh, you maybe never seen uh, the torque wrench on the video before, but hey, we have it and we use it, all right? <laughs> so we finish everything in Jay's place, as I said. We install the plastics and we make sure that the bike is tip top and ready for really good testing. Because right after this, we are going to give the bike to Dirt Bike Magazine and they will do their testing. Alright my friends, here we go, Dirt and Iron build number 4 is done. 2007 Yamaha YZ250 off-road build or a woods build, whatever you choose to call it, is done, it's finished and I want to hear your opinion. So after this video is over, please go below and comment, let me know what you think about this build, uh, how you like it, the feedback I'm getting from you guys, that uh, it's really a great thing, you know, to read. So after all is done and said, I really like to go back and read all the comments and then respond to all of you guys. So don't forget to comment. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Rado here with Mike Tilly from Dirtbag Magazine and both of us, we had quite some time on this YZ250. We want to give you perspective from two different angles. Mark over here from the Pro Rider and I'm here the Weekend Warrior. <laughs>
Mark, what do you think about this YZ250 build? Well, I mean, you guys did a great job on the build. It, it comes, it looks amazing. Uh, I got to shoot it in the studio and uh, got to be on the bike for uh, photos and video. And I mean, the bike looks amazing. There's Cerakote in a bunch of places, um, all, all kinds of cool uh, bolt-on parts on it. You guys did a bunch of stuff internally in the motor that is it's kind of a little different than what most people would do. Um, the transmission modifications and, and all that kind of stuff are a lot different than what the average guy would do. You guys went above and beyond to do that kind of stuff. So, um, I mean, the, the bike was a, a fun bike to ride. We did have it for a lot longer than what you wanted us to have it for, right, doing yeah. testing and, and doing exactly. stuff like that. So um, I know that, uh, that that was a little stressful for you, but we wanted to get stuff dialed in. When you do this much stuff to a motorcycle, it's kind of hard and, and a lot of people think that, oh, you just bolt stuff on and you go. And, yeah. and as we know it at the magazine that it's not really that way. Like you, you do, there's, there is a lot of bolt on items on this motorcycle plus all the stuff done internally and sometimes that stuff doesn't always work together. Right. So, you know, there's there's a lot of stuff that you, you have to do and you have to get together and and, and make it make it kind of mesh together. So, um, this bike, guys kind of built it a little bit more for what we would call East Coast Off-Road. It's more tight, technical stuff. And that's where the bike really excels. Um, once we got suspension, race tech dialed in the suspension and once we got the all the motor mods kind of, kind of working right with the you know right right fuel mixtures and all that kind of stuff everything worked great the bike was a blast to ride it has a, to hear that. yeah it has a bunch more bottom in than uh -huh. what uh what a stock yz250 yeah. does um <clears throat> that's what you guys were going for with the right. with the motor mods um yeah well we asked tom morgan to give us exactly that you know we wanted to have a bike that is uh, off-road ready we don't really take this bike much on the track so we asked uh, tom morgan to give us this bottom power and not crazy heat when you come on a pipe i think we kind of accomplished that would you say so yeah you did and and if that's what you're going for this bike is perfect for tight technical stuff <laughs> These are some nice trails. Nice bottom power, I didn't clutch it at all. That was pretty good. So Morgan porting for the bottom power is good. The little hops. <laughs> this is cool, check it out. I think that's 215 for local guys. You might know 215 highway. Mark, thanks again for doing this uh, with uh, with us here uh, on the channel, and thank you for uh, featuring the bike on the cover on Dirt by Magazine. I was really, really stoked, grateful to see it there, and the story uh, Mark wrote about it is, is really great. So I really appreciate that. Uh, hopefully, work to, together more in the future. I have more bikes to come, so guys, stay tuned. We're gonna have uh, some fun uh, with Mark together in the future. All right, Mark. Yeah, sounds good to me. Thank you for uh, letting Dirt Bike Magazine be a part of it. You can go to our website and see the Two Stroke Tuesday on this and then the, the full video um, from Travis Fant will come out on our YouTube channel on dirtbikemagazine.com as well. Um, and then, uh, so like I said, if you want to see more on this motorcycle, the full story will be available on the website once the magazine goes off of the newsstands. Um, so it's dirtbikemagazine.com. 
um, and it's usually in in a two stroke or in the features but you can search dirt and iron on the dirt and iron and yz250 on the website and it'll it'll pop right up and yeah i'm i'm looking forward to doing a lot more stuff it sounds like we might have a ktm in the works and something and kind of like go from idea. there so you know we'll do do something a little bit different and uh try to keep everybody guessing on what we're going to do next cool sounds good all right, all right guys that's what it's for today and don't forget whatever you do stay motivated see you guys later mm -hmm.